If you're a Morrowind fan, then you're a fan of enchanting. And if you're a fan of enchanting, then you need to watch this video because today we're showcasing how to get the best and most enchantable helmet that is not in the game. Now, if that sounds intriguing, don't worry because I'll be explaining everything shortly. So as always, thank you so much for watching and let's get into it. All right, so to begin our adventure for the arguably best helmet in Morrowind, and I know it's, it's a sacrilege to say that it's not, you know, Daedric or something like that, we actually have to first make sure that we have installed the official plugin from Bethesda called the Helm of Tohan. Now what this will do is not only add that particular item into the game, but it will also add in the quest that allows us to retrieve it. And to begin that quest, which is where we will start this video, we must start in Dagenfell. Now, once in Dagenfell, we actually have to ask someone in the town for the latest rumors. Let me talk to this guard. Uh, he looks like an upstanding young gentleman. So we're gonna ask him about the latest rumors and you will see here, your journal has been updated and I've heard tales of an ancient helm locked away in the ruins of Onisiralis, west of Voss. Here, I'll mark on your map where Voss is. The brothers Norvane left here recently to investigate the place. You should try to meet up with them if you wanna check it out. They're good folks, if a bit argumentative. Now, okay, we've, we've received our destination. We must move over to Voss. Uh, which, you know, you've probably been to before. Uh, I believe Fighter's Guild quests uh, take you there, as well as some other hooks in, in the region. But one thing to add is that if you go there early and try to get to Anisiralis, which is actually on this little island just to the side of Voss here, the brothers won't be there unless you've asked about the latest rumors in town. So I was actually planning out this video and, and uh, doing this quest earlier, and I could not find the brothers at Onisiralis, no matter how hard I tried, until I figured that, oh, I just didn't ask for the rumors, so don't make the same mistake I did and go there early. Another thing to note is that if you're playing this and you have other mods installed or other official plugins, if you are unable to get the hook from anyone in town, but for, for example, they're telling you about maybe other rumors in Dagenfell about smugglers or something and not immediately giving you the Helm of Tohan quest, check the load order of your mods because I actually experienced an issue where even though I was asking for the latest rumors in town, I was not able, like I said, to get the lead in. But once I lowered the uh, EBQ under artifact file in my mod load order, it showed up that next time. So keep that in mind if you're using any other plugins uh, while you're playing Marwin. So as we're moving to Voss, I'll actually kind of explain how the Helm of Tohan got here because it's actually not in base Marwind. Um, it is what is considered an official plugin. So it's basically free DLC that Bethesda released as, as the game kind of matured in the, in the early days of Marwind. And the Helm of Tohan in particular uh, was actually a pre-order bonus for Marwind if you ordered it through EB Games, and you can actually see this in the item ID. It's actually EBQ under artifact, EB representing EB Games. However, after a number of months, I think it was uh, maybe maybe two or three months, Bethesda actually released it for free on their website for anyone who owned the game to have, and they kind of continued to do this uh, with you know eight, eight or ten um, other little small add-ons or plugins or artifacts. Wow, we got totally off course here talking. Let me <laughs> let me get back over to Voss. What I find funny as kind of an older Bethesda fan is, oh, how the times have changed. Whereas Bethesda originally was handing out, you know, official plugins for free. Hey, here's a new shop. Here's a new thing. Here's a new this. Here's a new that. And then in Skyrim, the only free add-on we got, of course, was a high-res texture pack. And then we got the Creation Club. So... Oh my my, how the times have changed, uh, haven't they? Who's laughing now? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, that's Voss right there. We just gotta brave the crossing. And as you can see, they sent the entire freaking Slaughterfish Navy after us. Are you kidding me? Come on! <laughs> oh my god. Okay, any more? Anybody else want a piece of this? Eh? Okay, I think we're good. <laughs> I, think, I think we're okay for right now. Okay, so here we are at Voss again. Shout out to our Marwin's Most Obscure Quest uh, video right over there with the shipwreck. Kind of funny that we're back over here again. There's a lot of interesting stuff in this region. And now we can actually, if we, if we just come to the side of the island here, we can actually see the ruins that we need to get to. 
Uh, that right there is Onisiralis. So what we want to do is head right over and get swarmed by Slaughterfish again. Oh my god, come on! <laughs> I killed two and then two more appear. It's ridiculous. Uh, but right here you will see the brothers standing right in front of the ruin. So here we go. This is all we need to begin our quest. So let's see what they got to say to us, the brothers Norvane. Greetings, friend. Are you here to explore these ruins? Indeed, I am. <laughs> I am here for the helmet. Excellent. My brother Darius and I were just discussing the same thing. Years ago, our father perished in these ruins. May he rest well. We wish to clear the place of the evil that resides inside. I believe that the more who will help us, the better. My brother believes that this is a matter of family honor, and we must do it ourselves. Okay, well, how does that turn out? Enough, Darius. Please excuse my brother. It seems there is only one way for us to settle this. It is a time-honored Norvane family tradition. Please do not interfere. And when our decision is made, we will let you know. Your journal has been updated. Let's see what they're going to do. Hmm. And they're fighting. <laughs> My money's on the Mohawk. I mean, come on. How can, how can you compete with that? This guy, this guy's a punk rocker. He's... Oh. 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 Damn, he shot his brother. I didn't. Okay, I've done this quest before. That didn't happen last time. All right. That must have kept fighting, I guess, after the last time. He went for the kill. That's that's kind of crazy. All right. Uh, Y'all good? You good over here? All right, everyone's calm. Let's see what he has to say. All right, my brother has won the argument and will do things as he decided. Explore the ruins on your own, friend. We will enter them on our own when we are ready. Take this key. We have no interest in the treasure, but perhaps you can use it. <laughs> And good luck to you. Interesting. So, fun fact. This quest can go two ways. The other brother can actually win and can help you in the dungeon. But it seems that we're not that lucky. So, we're just going to have to sort this out for ourselves. So, let's grab a quick save uh, before we try anything stupid and move in. I don't remember if this is hard or not. So, Indo Nisiralis. And, oh, okay. Hello. All right. Starting early. And this is going to be pretty difficult, so let's start with Adrenaline Rush. Just going to pop a Restore Fatigue here, make sure we don't run out of uh, run out of accuracy here. We're whittling him down. This is this is the classic Marwin Slugfest uh, we all know and love. Ooh, we're getting pretty low. Ooh, he's actually he's kind of pushing us to the limit here. Let me use our Life Stone there, just get a quick little restoration. Oh, we actually just leveled up. Hey, look at that. Level level 11. And we got him on the ropes now. And with that, mission complete. Jethlaney, you did not have what it takes. I think we're good here. Yeah, I don't need any of this loot. I am going to step out. Ooh, can't rest enemies nearby. All right, we're going to have to... All right, let's just do some potioning then. All right, so just pop in some cheap restore healths there. And then, ooh, there's a mage. There's a mage over yonder. Let's, I mean, we're pretty pretty agile. We're pretty mobile. So this shouldn't be too bad. He does not have a lot of health. And this is right here how you fight mages. Just stay out of their way, and you will be fine. You will be just fine. It is way easier to fight a mage uh, than you think if you are just have really high speed. So put on your boots of blinding speed. Stay agile, stay mobile, and you'll you'll have them down soon enough. All right, there we go. Mage down. Let me restore my health again before I forget. And let's see what he had. Expensive amulet, expensive ring, extravagant shoes and robe. And 2920 Rain's Hand. Is that a skill book? It is a skill book. Restoration to 16. Very nice. Uh, and then we have a crate. What's in here? Some... Alchemy goods, nothing super exciting, but the Journeyman's Mortal and Pestle sells very well. And these are locked chests. I'm not going to mess with those right now because they're not actually the chests we're interested in. That one is downstairs, so let's head downstairs. Ooh, another heavy armor boy. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do we have anything that can help with him? So I'm going to use my Amulet of Heart Rhyme. This is going to increase our Sanctuary. It's going to make us harder to hit, so hopefully that'll come in, come in handy when fighting this big boy. Oh, we have an oh, and we have a mage coming too. Okay, that's bad. Again, bringing the bone walker in. I'm also gonna pop this scroll, the warrior's blessing. 
Oh, Bonewalker is down. The good thing is they're both focused on him. Come on, one more, one more. Oh, okay, there we go. Finally defeated <laughs> that guy. And then we can just kind of juggle this one right here. Back and forth between the two. Nice little exploit uh, if you're using another summon. Just uh, trading aggro. As you can see, you're kind of canceling his attacks as you move back and forth. Just a nice little maneuver to throw into your uh, combat repertoire right here. Oh, okay, and finally we've cleared him out. And he just has an expensive ring and a health potion. And a standard disease potion. Okay, very nice. Let's see what Lara is. Just also a wooden staff of war. And then we got uh, bone mold. Hey, at least he has some gold. Very nice. Whew. Okay, well, the good thing is, uh, me being a little unprepared for that fight, hopefully taught you uh, a couple little combat mechanics there with the juggle technique. And it looks like we got a battle mage over here. Freaking, oh, another one. All right, this, this has to be the last guy. Let's clear him out. Much, much, much later. And yeah, he's dead. Woohoo! We did it. I'm just going to cut that fight out because it was a lot of the same, just kind of face tanking Rith Rainier, uh, until until we finally finally laid him down. But let's see what he had at least. Uh, nothing exciting. Good to know. Well, let's hope that that's everyone here. Thank God we can finally rest. Now, one thing to note as well, if you're a newer player, if you see a shrine like this, it's trapped, and you're going to get ambushed. So don't worry about that right now. You can take it if you want to fight a Dremora Lord and all. Um, but if not, then the reason we're all here, the Helm of Tohan, is actually right in this chest. So let's open it up and find our way to the best helmet in the game. Norvane's key used to open the lock, and boom, there it is. The Adamantium Helm of Tohan, value 5,000, condition 900 with an armor rating of 50. Eight. Let's put that sucker on. Take a little peek here. You know, see the new fit. Look at that. It's some kind of like samurai-ish inspired helm. Looks pretty good. Looks kind of like the Shredder from Ninja Turtles, if you ask me. Now that our TMNT cosplay is complete, let's head back to town, find an enchanter, and then actually talk about why this helmet that's not in the game, but is official Bethesda content, is actually the best helmet in Morrowind. Let me grab my scroll here. And let's move over to an enchanter. I can't actually think of one off the top of my head that's here. So I'm actually just gonna, oh, what? Oh, you're down here, okay. Hello, friend. <laughs> Why walk when you can I'm just gonna go uh, back to Aldrun and we'll talk to an enchanter there. So here I am at the Enchanter in Aldrun. You can go to any Enchanter to actually see this. I'm just trying to kind of show you and make a point here. But let's open our Enchanting menu. I'm gonna select our Helm of Tohan. And as you can see up here in the top right, the enchantment points available on the item. And for the Helm of Tohan, we have 150, making it the most enchantable helmet in the game by a long shot. Just to lay it out there for you, the helmet in second place, which is actually the Telvanni Cephalopod helm, you know, made by the literal best wizards in kind of the game's universe. <laughs> it only has 100 possible enchantment points. So the Helm of Tohan is an entire 50% more enchantable than the Telvanni Cephalopod helm. And then when compared to Daedric helmets, the kind of, you know, tried and true, most Elder Scrolls-y, like, top-tier armor that all of us think about immediately when we think about in-game armor, only has 75 enchantment points for the helmets. So the Helm of Tohan is a 100% increase in enchantability over our Daedric items. So when you think about the power of the enchantments in Morrowind that you can apply to items, the incredibly high enchantment pool available on this helmet makes it head and shoulders the best possible helmet in the game. So if, if you love enchanting, go out there, forget about your Talvani cephalopod helm and put something crazy on the helm of Tohan. There you have it, the most enchantable helmet in the game and a nice look at what 
DLC used to be in the Bethesda universe, which is free. If you like this video, I'll probably be doing more on the various official plugins here. Some of them are kind of cool and quirky and fun. So be sure to let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Coffee out.